All right, guys, new day. We are back at the pond project where we drove the piers at, I believe, in the previous video. And we got uh, we got a few other projects to knock out around here. So uh, let me get you guys caught up to speed. All right, guys, a couple things here real quick while we're here. This pond's about, uh, it's probably been full for about a year. Uh, built by a previous contractor. We didn't have nothing to do with the uh, construction of it, but this was the overflow here and it just kind of, uh, well, it just kind of waterfalled into the ditch down there. And that wasn't the best, the best setup. So what you guys didn't see yesterday after we got the piers drove is uh, Captain Cleman and I, we actually installed a new overflow pipe over here. And uh, whenever I say Cleman and I, I mean mostly Cleman. So if you guys want to check out the installation, of the new overflow pipe which goes from there all the way down to the ditch down there check out captain cleman's channel i'm sure he'll have a pretty good video on that but there's a, still a few other things we're going to address here this morning one i can't get a good view of this i don't know how to show you guys this but the dam has got a big belly in it it kind of goes down and comes back up i can probably show you with the laser here but this part of the dam right here is almost a foot low um now this is all above water level this is just basically the freeboard of the dam and the freeboard of the dam basically means it's just reservoir capacity until it can go out the overflow pipe so we're not holding water back here we're just kind of uh building an insurance policy across the top of the dam and it makes it look better if the dam's <coughs> flat and level and straight all the way across so the first project we're going to tackle this morning is uh i'm probably going to take the excavator and scratch this uh dirt on the top of here get the topsoil off Make sure everything bonds up good and then uh, we're gonna go over there with the skid steer somewhere i think we're just gonna pack it over here the skid steer no more dirt than what it is um that's my plan plans are always subject to change but uh that's the plan for now all right guys I had a few phone calls i had to take care of this morning so got a little bit of a head start but what i'm trying to do here is absolutely nothing fancy i'm just trying to kind of scrape off this very thin top layer of topsoil and rough up the top of that dam just a little bit so that we come back in here and put that little bit of what we decided it was like a foot we come back in here and put like that foot of fill on top of here to uh even out that freeboard on the dam uh it should be able to bond we are not going to run the compactor on this we're so close to the top of the dam and we're not really trying to seal off and hold water we're just trying to buy a cheap insurance policy here so we'll probably just track this in with either the uh excavator or possibly even the skid steer but nothing fancy nothing fancy we just want to get that vegetation out of there uh save what a little bit of topsoil we have and uh make sure make sure the uh make sure the top of that dam is bonded to whatever little additional lift we put on there so Well, about two thirds of the way across this thing, so let me go a little bit farther here. We'll come back and start packing some dirt. Well, there you have it, guys. That's what it looks like with the topsoil stripped off there. I wish I could show grade on camera. That thing's got a pretty good, pretty good belly in it. I don't know if I can get down here. You guys can kind of see how it goes down and comes back up, but it's definitely, uh, definitely a little bit low out there in the middle so what the plan is for now is we're going to start off there's a little bit of a ridge out there in that field i think i'm just going to take the skid steer and start packing dirt that's all i know how to do let's see how this works all right guys i know my window is absolutely filthy i do apologize for that but uh I haven't really found one I'm just absolutely in love with yet. Or 
a brand of bucket in general that I'm absolutely in love with yet. So I don't know what you guys are running or what you guys like, but if you got a brand of bucket that's held up well for you over the years or a 401 bucket you're a big fan of, comment down below. And man, that's right. Comment down below and let me know what you're running and what you think of. And uh, I might just have to give it a try. This field. All right guys, an hour later, and I don't know how many trips. I made a bunch of trips. First off and foremost, kudos to anybody that runs a skid steer eight, 10 hours a day for a living. Oh my goodness. It is my least favorite piece of equipment to run. I am uh, fully aware of how handy and productive they are. I just do not like running them. But anyways, uh, from here we need to, this is my reference point on grade right there. So let's uh, see how good my eyeball is. See how close I got this uh, rain in here. Ooh, right on the money there. But if anybody's wanting to know why I did not use the dump truck on this, um, one, it's kind of a short haul, and two, uh, when I was on here at the excavator, there's a few spots on this thing that were just a little bit jello-ish. I just didn't want to risk getting a truck on here, getting it stuck or creating a bigger mess. So I just bit the bullet, spent about an hour. Bowsers, that's right on the money. I bit the bullet, spent about an hour, and just packed all the dirt over here to the skid steer. And uh, it seemed to work out pretty good. It wasn't too bad. So. <laughs> Look at that. Nailed it. It's like a half inch low in one spot right there in the middle. But uh, that's close enough. I'm comfortable. We're going to throw our topsoil back up here on top. And uh, color good. Dirt perfect for the win on that one. Just gonna take and push this topsoil back up here on top of what we just filled in. We'll take the power rack here at some point and uh, level that all up and make it look pretty. But we got a couple other, a couple other projects we got to tackle here yet too. One thing you guys cannot let me forget to do before I put that uh, laser up is we still have to do the final height adjustment on that overflow pipe we put in, and then we need to confirm that that height. Uh, agrees with our emergency overflow over there so let me get this uh topsoil shoved back up here on top and then i will show you what the next project is and voila there you have it there's that uh, project we'll hit that with the uh power rack here in a little bit and make it look all nice pretty professional all that good stuff you guys noticed how quiet it is today? There's no uh, Mr. Millennial, no Captain Cleveland, no man behind the scenes. I've just been, been enjoying the, I miss those guys. I miss them, I miss them, not gonna lie. But I've been enjoying the peace and quiet. So uh, next project on the list, this pile here is a pile of treasures. We're not for sure what all's in there, uh, but we're guessing it's not all good stuff. Uh, I think there was an old, like I said, I wasn't here before the pond was built. I think there was an old fence row that man went down through where this pond's at. And they threw all the stuff uh, out of that fence row up there and burnt most of it. And that's what didn't burn. But uh, he wants it hauled off site. So uh, that's the next thing on the list. I got the, uh, I got the old dump trailer in tow today. I know uh, you guys that follow me on social media have been seeing me use it well before it's ever in this video. 
that's a good reason why you should follow me on Facebook and Instagram because you can see cool pictures before the videos come out. Nope, oh, can't wait for the brush release. But uh, I get the question a lot, how come I don't use this trailer more than what I do? Uh, that's a loaded question. So on my C8500, oh come on, air. On my C8500, I can hold about 12 to 13 ton legally. This one here can haul about 22 ton legally. So it is considerably more capacity, uh, but I'm also limited on where I can get to. This this rig does not get around near as good as the C8500, like when it's dry like this on this job, it's perfect. Uh, I'm also limited where I can dump. Uh, you need to be on pretty flat, stable ground. Well, this thing can get a little bit tipsy. And the other reason is a lot of times this truck's tied up on the job with low boy trailer. Our Captain Cleveland's got this truck out to moving equipment. So it's definitely ha handy to have around. And we go through spurts and we use her quite a bit, but uh, it also sits quite a bit. Maybe one of these days I'll end up with a tri axle or uh, another semi. But for now, what we do seems to work pretty good. So let me get around here and get in position. We'll round up the old ball though. And uh, see if we can load out. Yep, there's definitely some, definitely some nasty treasures in there. That's gonna be. This is one of those ones when you load, you want to make sure you are definitely upwind. Definitely do not want to be downwind. She is, she's loaded. We put a pretty good, uh, pretty good dent in a little pile. Now to unload. Break out of adjustment, we got a low tire, we 
it definitely got a bushing out. I'm sure there's a light not working. Uh, just giving you guys a hard time. Every time I put a camera underneath the truck, I get a whole laundry list of everything that's wrong with my truck. Which is amazing how well you guys can diagnose my truck from a camera. And uh, I can't do it from the seat. But anyways, just having fun with you guys. Just having fun. In all reality, this, uh, this trailer is a 1963 Galleon. I believe it's 22 and a half, 23 feet long. And, and for its age, it's not in perfect condition. It's got some miles on it. But for its age, it actually is in really good shape. And it works really well for me. I can't, at this point, I can't justify owning a tri-axle. Uh, honestly, it's just me as a driver. Captain Clinton fills in. And uh, if we get on a job big enough to need the tri-axle, I just need to hire somebody. So I don't have I don't have anybody on hand to run it. But a couple of occasional little jobs like this here and there, I just need a random load or two. And I'm working by myself. It works great. It fills the bill. It does what I need to do. It, uh, it's pretty cheap to own, so it's justifiable to have it around. So. But uh, we're on the road, guys. Everything's rolling good. Let's get to the dump site and see if we can get this thing offloaded. guys we are at our dump sign and I get backed up in there this little booger is a real pleasure to back let me tell you hopefully we can get backed up in here find a spot level enough and raise her up and let her fly Unfortunately, that is exactly what I was afraid of. Is that big stump right there? Somehow managed to get itself wedged in there, some way, shape, or form. I don't quite understand how it's stuck. It's like it should come out of there. All right, time to get creative. All right, guys. So here's the plan. Before uh, I do anything, I regret. Man, it's so close to coming out of there too. It is so close. Why are you stuck? Anyways, got sidetracked. What uh here's the plan. Luckily, I've got a second vehicle here. So I'm gonna take that. I guess I'm gonna go grab the loader and uh come back. I need a loader here anyways to tidy up this whole mess. So it's not the end of the world, but uh yeah. I'll go grab the loader, come back, get that stinking stump. That whole conversation we were just having about it'd be nice to have a barn door on the back of that trailer. If you guys don't know what that is, the one I got now is a swing gate. The barn door opens sideways, so it's swing completely over out of the way. And you're hauling debris and stuff like this, it allows it to come out of the tailgate a whole lot easier because, well, essentially the tailgate's just not there at all. So, all right, let me get my seatbelt on before I hit the road. Go get the loader, and uh, we'll come back and. Try it again. All right, plan B.
in behind here. And see if we can find a way to uh, hang on. Clean up this stuff here as I go. See if we can find a way to wiggle that thing out there, I guess. Hoping I can kind of come in here and dangle, just kind of hook it. And work it out of there. Let's see what happens. A fun little unexpected adventure. Nevertheless, we got it. Old tailgates locked up here. Hop back in the truck and we will go back after load number two. We hope we learned our lessons. Load number one. like that we are back for oh that's a bigger pump than I expected back for another load hopefully 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 this one comes out there a little better one way to find out load her up see what happens
the truck loaded, it's uh, we ended up getting it all on there. It ended up not even being really close to a full load, to be honest with you. Well, I'll take that back. That's a good three quarters load. We got one last project we're going to tackle. This project's going to bleed over into tomorrow, but I want to go ahead and get a head start on it. There is a brand new 30 foot culvert pipe hiding right down in here somewhere. And it was installed in the wrong spot. It needs to be up the hill. Oh, I don't know, about 30, 40 feet up around the property line. So I'm going to attempt to gingerly dig down beside this thing, hopefully expose it, and uh, get it out of there where we can reuse it. And move it up the hill where it belongs. I can see it. I can definitely see it. Let me put that thing right on top of a stump. Don't poke a hole in it. Don't that, don't that, don't that. Talking to myself, don't mind me. It's only a single wall pipe, it's not a real heavy pipe, so definitely gotta be a little bit gentle with her. Hey, what did they bury that thing on? Set you guys outside so you can watch that way if I royally tear it up. I got video evidence. Well, I got it exposed without damaging it. Looks like there's a, I don't know, 10 foot piece here on the end. And there's a 20 foot piece of plastic. And then somehow we got a redneck connection there into a piece of uh, steel. I didn't get, I got a little aggressive with the steel because I knew, I knew the steel was gonna get um, done away with, trashed. I uh, end up it smashed and it's full of stuff, which I don't know why they hooked the plastic onto it. I don't know, not for me to decide. But uh, what I'm gonna try to do now is I'm gonna come over here on the back side, try to get my teeth in behind it and just kind of work it over into this ditch right here and try to roll it over here. And if I can get it rolled over here and then bingo bango, we got us a pipe we can reuse. We just saved somebody some money, so. All right, well, we haven't saved the money yet. We still gotta get it out of there but we got a plan we do have a plan all right i hope you guys can see out there i'm just going to take my teeth i'm going right down behind that pipe I'm just going to kind of nudge it see how i got it broke loose i'm going to track down here a little ways right in here somewhere 
Got to give her a little nudge again. I'm going to keep a little bit of dirt between me and that uh, me and that pipe so I don't collapse it. It is a double wall pipe. It's not a single wall pipe. I misspoke on that, but just kind of nudge her out of there. Oh, yeah, she's coming free. We'll get down here to the end. Yeah, you guys probably can't see if they're pausing away again. Hold on. I'll help you out. You can see now. All right, so we'll kind of nudge that out of there again. Whoop, you can get some dirt in between there, cushion it a little bit. There we go. Plastic pipes all free. Metal pipes, mostly free. Let's see if we can get it slid out of there. By golly, we got her. I hate to throw that away. I think I shake the dirt out of that, maybe use it for something. All right, let's go inspect our pipe and see what we got. Tell you what, the pipe don't look too bad. It's got uh, just a little bit of stuff right here in the end of it. But uh, still looks straight. It's not collapsed or egg shaped. Don't think we damaged it one bit. I believe that is definitely a candidate to be reused. So what we'll do, I can't, there's an oak culvert right here. It's completely collapsed. It may even be an oak clay culvert, but this is where the actual driveway will go back in there. He's hoping to build a house one day. Now, it would not be very smart to dig this out at the end of the day. Cause I still got the truck <laughs> parked back there. I got a little rock coming at some point today. So we'll probably just let that sit like that until my rock shows up in the morning. We'll let the rock get in here. We'll dig that out, backfill it with rock and uh, be good to roll. So for now, let's go see if we can get that trailer dumped.
check that out that came out way better than the last load get my apron cleaned up here get tailgate latch we'll head on uh head on down the road i got a little bit of dirt stuck in the nose of this trailer and uh full disclosure it's been there for a year or two probably need to grab a shovel and take it out of there it's not good all right guys so here's the plan of the attack for the rest of the day or the rest of this job i guess it's getting late today it's about 4 30 and uh my uh my little rock still ain't showed up yet and I don't think I can get it all done today anyway. So uh, we're going to let this bleed over in tomorrow. I've got a few other things I need to uh, get done and get wrapped up. So stick with me. Catch you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is a new day. Our rock has showed up. So it's time to move a ditch caller. But it's, uh, what is today? Today is September 18th. It's like the first cool morning. Like I almost wish I would have brought my sweatshirt. So it is awesome i'm enjoying life this morning so uh now i forgot what i was doing oh yeah so now that we got our rock across the old culvert we're gonna go up there and dig that culvert out slide this culvert up and uh hopefully have a new culvert crossing let's make her happen we done check fluids this morning i believe the old girl is ready to roll so let's put her to work I'm gonna take this pipe out the uh, short way, like uh, so, I guess. It is an oak clay pipe down in there. These oak clay, you gotta see this put some of this oak clay pipe in. This stuff is not, it's not a bad pipe. Sorry, I'm concentrating, trying to see what I'm doing here. But uh, what happened to this one at some point, the ditch, ditch is silted it full, and it was no longer taking water. And the crossing's just a little bit too short for uh, what the homeowner wants. So get this uh, kind of bowed out of here. We'll slide that pipe up. That might be interesting. Slide that pipe up and see what we got. Stay tuned. All right, we got the ditch dug up there. I'm going to try my darndest to uh, hold this thing right here on the splice. Not get a whole lot of dirt in the end of this thing and work it back up here to its new location. Hopefully. Come on, baby. Almost there. Make sure everything's in good shape. And we will let that fly. Alright, from ground level, I do not like the way that looks at all. It's got a great big pump in it. It's not laid in there flat and level. So, we're going to slide her back down out of the way. And we're going to redo it. It's not right. My goodness it wouldn't have been right but maybe i should have left well enough alone the uh, pipes become disconnected and this one i don't know how or why with these outer rings are full of water this thing's so heavy i can't even budget so uh i think what i'm gonna do at this point is grab a skid steer throw a little bit of rock on top of that hopefully hold it in place uh we're gonna take the excavator and grab that piece of pipe and shut the two together That's my plan.
definitely liking the way the bottom of this ditch is laying a lot better it was worth the effort of pulling it out and pipe breaking on me and all that good stuff but let me uh i got cleaned out around this bell here real good i'm going to attempt to grab that with the excavator slide that pipe back on that pipe i'll set you guys up so you can watch either the success or the failure of this mission see what happens Well, that actually worked pretty good. Went back together just like it was supposed to be. Pipe's not damaged. That is definitely, definitely a win. So next thing on the list, I need to take this dirt and reshape that ditch. And then we're gonna take that rock, rock and backfill the rest of that pipe. And then we got one thing left to do before we leave. Do you guys remember what it is? I'll let you guys think about it while I set you up on a time lapse to uh, go to work. guys hope you enjoyed the time lapse what you didn't see in the time lapse is i actually pyraked the dam and pretty much the entire property and even part of the neighbor's house over there because he asked me to and i'm a nice guy but uh it was dusty it was nasty not in a video a whole lot of it because uh well you already see me pyrake a little bit of it but if you remember the last thing we need to do is we got to cut off the overflow pipe so here's my plan of attack hold on i'm doing the old foot right here one spot we can get a little better yes that should do it so this is going to be the emergency overflow there's a little bit of just a little bit of a dip in the dam here i'm going to shoot this elevation here hold on i have to put you down all right sorry about that i had to do a little bit of finagle on that one uh pier we drove was in direct line with a laser to our little divot over there but uh what I did is I shot elevation over there and we're going to cut this overflow pipe off four inches below it. So that way the water will have to raise four inches before it starts going over the emergency, which no more watershed than what this pond has. I think it'll be perfectly fine. So we'll find out. Looks like we need to take uh, two and a half, three inches off. So let's see if we can do this without getting wet. See how close our uh, see how close our guesstimation is here. Oh, that's within a quarter inch, boys and girls. That's within a quarter inch. I think that'll do the trick. And then uh, with that being PVC plastic like that, they've always got the option to adjust the height of it a little bit with a coupler or something. So, guys, that's it. It's Friday. It's an absolutely beautiful day. We got some company coming in, so I'm gonna get back to the house. Get cleaned up, enjoy the rest of the day, rest of the weekend, and uh, call it a week. Hope you guys enjoyed the project. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, guys, we shall catch you on the next one.